Watch out! <gasps> Whoa! Eggie doodle doodle doo doo, Eggie doo! What you doing, Teddy? Ah, oh, you know, I'm just making some breakfast before the big experiment. Do you guys want some scrambled eggs? That's perfect timing, because today on Test Dummy Science, we're exploring the world of physics with a classic science experiment known as the Egg Drop Challenge. Cool! It's a competition where you take an egg, surround it with super cushiony material, and then drop it from a super high height. Oh, that sounds like fun! It sure is. Ah! Hey, you already got a head start. Uh, can somebody get me between two and 20 Band-Aids, please? Eggs are very delicate items. Hold them the wrong way or put things on top of them, their shells will crack very easily. And if you drop them from any kind of height, they easily splatter. In a lot of ways, our own heads are very similar. If they get hit too hard, they'll get damaged. That's why we wear helmets when we play sports or ride bikes. Here, Eddie, put this on. Okay. Normally, these items could be very painful for Eddie, but because his head is protected, nothing gets damaged. But we can't build tiny helmets for eggs, so instead, we're building contraptions to keep them safe. Now, can I take this off, Jada? Just one more. Okay. Let it drop! I'm okay. When an egg is dropped, the force of the impact when it hits the ground is absorbed completely by the egg. Because the shell is thin, it shatters. To stop it from breaking apart, the egg needs protection, something like a suit of armor, so that when it drops, the force of the impact is pushed out into other materials across a larger area, keeping the egg intact. For today's experiment, We've changed our minds. We're not gonna drop eggs on Teddy's head. Really? Oh, that's great, because I was a bit worried things were gonna get a little messy. Oh, that's still gonna happen, Teddy. Because instead of dropping them on you, we're going to throw them at you. Some guys got all the luck. But first, Jada and I are gonna be building tiny suits of armor for the eggs using straws, popcorn, balls, and tape. And then we'll reveal whose eggs stay together the best. You can eat that popcorn! That's looking pretty good. We just have to put the egg in here, make sure it's okay. well cushioned, and we just have to put more popcorn. It, it no. looks like a spaceship, no. like <laughs> The popcorn ball is designed in a way that makes all the energy the egg would normally absorb on impact be absorbed by the popcorn around it. Ow. Ooh. Yow. All right, I think you proved your point. Get ready, Teddy. No! Excellent! Mm. But did the egg survive? We'll find out in just a moment. Yeah. First, though, I've got to throw mine. I've created a great big suit of armor for my egg, which is going to push all of the energy of the impact throughout a larger area, at least in theory. Do we need to test with the unprotected eggs again? No! I think you better, just for consistency. This is dummy abuse! Ready, Teddy? It's time to check and see which egg had the most protection. It's a miracle. Both eggs survived. It just proves that when you put great minds behind a problem, there's always a solution. I have a little bit of a question that's been uh, bugging me the entire episode. Why were you guys throwing raw eggs at me? For fun? We just wanted to keep you involved. <laughs> <laughs>